On September the 12th, the meeting of Belgrade's biggest teams once again brought the city to a standstill. Red Star versus Partizan, known as the Eternal Derby. When I was a child and a fan of Red Star, and then later as a player, the derby was always something sacred. It is the most important match for us, and everybody lives for it. It is called the Eternal Derby for a good reason. In our region, derbies in essence represent a scene where players and teams are born. A club that wins a derby gains credibility for an entire season. Around two weeks before the match, everybody is talking about it. And you can really feel it in the air that it is a brilliant fixture. From early morning, Belgrade slowly begins to breathe and move to the rhythm of the derby. The two teams were formed after the Second World War. They first played each other in 1947, and this would be the 149th meeting. Belgrade has the rivers Danube and Savo, the Avala Tower, and Red Star and Partizan. It is something you should experience as a supporter in the stands. I've watched River Plate and Boca Juniors in Buenos Aires. That is a first-class derby in terms of what it means both on and off the pitch. Many Red Star parties and derbies played here are fantastic and unforgettable. Of course, not all the games are like that, but the standard has been set very high. You have to experience the atmosphere and the match. The most difficult part for me was one hour before the game started. There was a mix of nervousness and excitement. But as soon as you're on the football pitch, as soon as you hear the roar of the fans, you are no longer nervous and you can fully focus on the match. These two are the dominant teams in Serbia with 26 titles apiece. However, the head-to-head -head history favours Red Star. 60 wins to 44. The derby is sacred to me. It's something that's grown on me over many years. What this derby is about, it's something that you learn. It has many different parts to it. It's not only a match worthy of three points. It has a great effect on many lives. The excitement that we feel makes for a truly terrific atmosphere. A Serbian player who has not played the Eternal Derby, it is like he has not had a proper career. It really is something special. A celebration of Serbian football. It has the best atmosphere. For a Serbian footballer, it can't get any better. If Red Star win, the fans will be more relaxed about everything. When Red Star beats Partizan the following day, well, we'll go to work feeling far more relaxed, more at ease and less burdened. All of life's troubles will seem smaller. But of course, if we lose, we'd walk with our heads down and feel very low. And it was the Red Star fans who were celebrating first, as a full Rajko Mitic stadium saw Hugo Vieira put their side in front inside half an hour. Alan Stefanovic's response meant the two teams were level going into the break. But the hosts took control in the second half, as the red half of the city roared them on. Vieira with his second of the night. And then Alexander Katai sealed a 3-1 victory for Red Star.
next league meeting will be the 150th between the two teams. Until then, it's the Red Star fans who'll be walking tall in Belgrade.